Um, I bring your to ask the senator from um, to ask the following questions at, at the next sitting. To the leader of the government, what is the government's present stance of the current bonefish legislation and policy enforcement and initiatives? To the leader of the government, is the government aware that the fishermen are complaining that the procedure to receive VAT exemption under the exigency order is cumbersome? Will the government please explain the most efficient way to apply for this exemption? To the leader of the government, will the government release the information on the consultation meeting with the stakeholders and non-government entities on the introduction of local government to the city of Nassau? Thank you. Sorry. Further notices? Thank you, Madam Vice President. At the next sitting of the Senate, I intend to ask the following questions. To the leader of the government, in light of the public complaints inclusive of recent comments by the Chamber of Commerce, will the Attorney General provide information regarding further amendments to the commercial enterprise legislation? To the leader of the government, is the minister aware of the abundance of complaints about the lack of assistance being provided from social services to those persons in need? Will the minister explain the current social services program on assistance for Bahamians requiring emergency assistance and those applying for long-term assistance? Can the minister also provide details of the number of persons that have received assistance through social services since May 10th? 2017 to the leader of the government is the government aware of the complaints in civil society regarding the services or disruption in services at the post office and in addition complaints surrounding the working conditions that the staff has to endure will the government provide details regarding relocation and modernization of the services of the post office thank you madam vice president May the documents be brought up. <laughs> All that the notices be, la be laid on the table. Any further notices? Thank you so much. Uh, at the next sitting of the Senate, I tend to ask the following questions. Will the Minister of State for Grand Bahama please inform the Senate on the reasons why the school lunch vendors and school bus drivers have not received outstanding payments for work done months ago? Will the Minister of State please inform the Senate on the status of the purchase of a Grand Lucayan Resort? Will the Minister of State please uh, inform this Senate on the number of new hires at the Ministry for Grand Bahama and their salaries? For the leader of the opposition business in the Senate, will the leader inform the Senate of the number of government workers that were, sorry, the leader of government business in the Senate, will the leader of government business in the Senate please inform the Senate on the number of government workers that were terminated from NHI and the amount of new hires that were brought on and their respective salaries? Will the leader of government business please inform the Senate of what is happening with NHI and when will the government fully implement the universal primary health care component of the plan? Will the leader of the government business please inform the Senate on why the renovations at the Rand Memorial Hospital will stop? And when will the contractors receive outstanding payments from the uh, Public Hospitals Authority? The yeah. Madam, Madam Vice President, we have two, we have a bicameral legis uh, legislature. There are two houses. And this is a point of order and my response to these questions. To this extent, there are two houses of parliament. In the lower house, ministers are present who represent and run and manage the portfolios of every one of these <coughs> questions. Therefore, I will object to these questions being placed on this um, uh, agenda of this house on, on the basis that the appropriate forum is the other house. Uh, no, no, I make the objection and I will provide at the next hearing 
uh, sitting in this house. I will provide the, the, the basis for it. Okay? The chair they, they, uh, they must go. They must go to the proper house for the relevant minister to answer the question. No. The only proper question no, for sir. this house no, is the question addressed no, to the Minister no, of State no, for no, Grand Bahama. No, and on that basis, I object to these questions, and, uh, and uh, I will provide further, um, uh, further in, uh, information on that at the next si sitting. No, 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 no don't come no, try and no, ambush no, me. No, I object to it. No, I object no, to it. No, sir, and no, it's not going on the order paper no, until this matter is debated out. No, Thank sir, you. No, sir. The I rules clearly this. say that if the minister is not in the Senate, the person to direct the questions to is the leader of government business. Yeah. Look at the rules. You know, and, he, and, 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 and the leader of government business can't object to things raised by the opposition. That's what you have it here for. This is all histrionics, man. You know, give me a break. Order, when please. Do, Hello. Order, please. Order, order rubbish. You know, just read the rules. Uh, it would say to me, what do you, you know, this is not the House of Assembly, sir. The, read the this rules. This is not the House of Assembly. Read the rules. The read proper the place to ask the is over there. The rules of the Senate have. clearly say, read the, read the rules. Read the rules. No. Read Senator the rules. Kobe. Read the rules. Senator Moss. Read the rules. Read the rules. Read the rules. Read the rules. You know, read the rules. Senators. Senators, please, we can only speak one at a time. Look, the, the last document to be brought up and laid on the table, please. Yeah. Sorry, I have a question. I, did you call for further notices? No, I have no, further, but, further notices. Was Dr. Davos brought up? Yeah. You go ahead. 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 Yeah. Further notices. Yeah. Mr. Madam, Madam Vice President, to the leader of the government, having regard to the statement made by the House of, made in the House of Assembly by the Prime Minister on the 13th of December, quote, that the system of royal honors will persist. Will the government confirm that it is in the intention of the government to continue to grant British honors to Bahamian citizens? And if the answer is yes, would the government not agree that the duality of the honor system should cease and Bahamian honors only should be awarded? To the Minister of Labor or leader of the government, is the minister aware of the number of persons who have been dismissed or whose contracts have been terminated who have been working for the government or government agencies since the 10th of May, 2017? If so, will he give the number to this house? and the agencies from which those persons were separated. To the leader of the government, is the minister aware that a number of persons who work for public agencies, both the public service directly or by publicly funded agencies, are complaining that they have not been paid by the government, in particular officers of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Department of Local Government, and the Fox Hill Community Center? Will the minister provide to this House the number of people in the public service or publicly funded agencies whose salaries have not been paid and give the reasons why they have not been paid. To the leader of the government, will the answer disclose to this House who is now the chair of the Board of Bahamas Agricultural Industrial Corporation and say whether or not the individual is to be removed from office and if so, who is to succeed the individual in the chair? To the leader of the government, will the minister explain to this House what led to the public demonstrations by people in Mayaguana with regard to non-payment of salaries in that island? Will the minister confirm that the non-payment of salaries to public workers was in fact the source of the complaint? Is the minister aware that the safety of the public officials in that island may have been jeopardized in the course of attempts to settle the complaints of residents there? Will the minister confirm that the dispute in Mayaguana over the non-payment of salaries is now resolved and that the safety of public officials in Mayaguana has not been compromised? Yes, and lastly, I intend to move at the next uh, sitting of the Senate the following resolution. Resolved, this House supports the rigorous enforcement of immigration laws in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the policy of Bahamians first in labor laws. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Will the notice this be brought up and laid on the table? Uh, Madam President, uh, Vice President, just on quick note, the Royal Honours um, Bill and the comments made by the Prime Minister based on that bill were passed by members opposite when they were in government in 2016. That act 
that act envisages a dual system persisting. I'm, that I'm act, Madam, that I'm act, to the that being made act, at this point. that I'm act. I'm objecting to a speech act, being why? made at this point. Why? You just made one. I am making. I am objecting. This question. I am objecting to a speech being made at this point. You passed an act that allowed for it. I am what you objecting. For? You I am can't objecting. object to what you did. I am objecting Don't object to your hypocrisy to being revealed. I am objecting to your hypocrisy to being revealed. I am objecting to the speech. You passed the bill. You passed the bill. I am objecting to a speech. I am objecting to a speech. We can have three people standing up. Leader, will you complete yes. your yes. comments, Thank you. please? Thank you. The fact is that the comments of the Prime Minister were taken directly from the provisions of the bill that the bill envisages that no person who has a royal honor will suffer and be unable to receive a Bahamian honor. The bill further provides that um, the royal honors are going to continue, period. So don't ask a question uh, that is suggesting that you have some principled position. You voted for that bill in 2016. Don't tell me what question to ask. Don't qu tell me what questions to ask. Okay, I won't tell you. I'll Don't tell, you what tell I think me what questions. The question is no, hypocritical. You, this, is no, this is not speech time. This is notices for subsequent meetings. And, when, and there is a point. We pass the point on the order paper where answers to questions are given. So what are you doing? Throwing the baby out of the bathwater again. I'm saying stick by the rules. Stick by the rules. It was a hypocritical question I, coming from someone who voted for it. I finished my own no, no, sorry. That, I object to that. I object to that. That's impugning my character now. I'm drawing the word hypocritical. It is a that. disingenuous. No, no, no. Same thing. Senator same Mitchell. thing. Senator no commentary Mitchell. on this. This ain't the time for commentary. This ain't no time for commentary. Don't tell me I can't make a comment. No, I'm not saying what you can or cannot do. I'm saying it's not the time for commentary. Well, it is for me. Senator Mitchell. We can't say on the one hand that he can, but you can. Okay? I think the privilege should be equal on both sides. Any further notices to be brought up? <laughs> Order that the notices be laid on the table. No further notices, then um, notices of future meetings. Yeah, we, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, we should also say we renew those standing in the name of the opposition. The notices standing, already standing in the name of the opposition. Okay. And I would, I would renew all, all matters, uh, notices already standing in the name of the government. Thank you, sir. Notices for future meetings. <clears throat> Orders for clerk. You're also objecting to adjourning so I may die, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>